Hello out there, and in front of you today are a couple modified and customized Ontario Rat Model 2 knives. And today's video will not so much be a review as it will be a little bit about my personal connection to this design and to this knife up here in particular. And it'll also be just a commentary on the quality of materials used in this knife that, that really lend itself to modifying and customizing them well because nothing is worse than modifying a knife that has really low quality hardware and materials and makes it more difficult to do the job that you want to do. All right, so why make this video today? That's a question you're probably not asking yourself, but I'm going to answer it anyway because it is a really special day for me and it sort of um, brings us back to why this knife is important to me. So if we look at this side, you can see that this knife has the date on it and that date is today, a year ago today, because this knife commemorates my wedding, which is one year ago today. So I modified this knife in order to uh, remember that day, and there's another knife, a sister to this one, that I did very similarly with slightly different pocket clip and uh, handle colors and a slightly different design on the, uh, the blade, and I gave that one to my father. So, you know, definitely a really important day for us both. Uh, you know, he got a knife, I got a knife, um, hopefully an important day for my wife as well, but she did not get a knife. <laughs> so this one very near and dear to me will never leave my collection. And it's also the knife that I carried on my wedding day as well. So, um, yeah, definitely just a, a prize piece for me. All right. And what this all means though, is that, you know, between those two knives and then this one, and there's a couple other that I've modified, I think I've done a total of five Ontario rat twos. I also owned a couple rat ones in the past and I've taken those apart. And you know, what I really want to say about this knife is just how much of a pleasure it is to work on a knife when you're confident in the quality of the materials, you know, and this knife I've never had an issue with. You know, and that really means a lot when you look at just the sheer amount of hardware on this knife. All right, so taking a look at this side, you can see we have four, four body screws on each side of the knife. All right, one, two, three, and four, and these hold the liners to the handle scales, and four on the other side. All right, and that's just an unusual amount of screws. If I bring in a, a Kershaw leak right here, you can see three body screws on one side here. You know, and then you have the, the pivot screw, obviously. You have three body screws on this side, which might seem like a lot, but those screws go all the way to the other side, and those are the only three body screws on the whole knife. You've got a total of eight right here. You know, and the amount of knives that I've taken apart and the amount of times I've had to do it with this model, I've never had a single bad screw. Not once. Just the quality of the hardware is a lot better than the 25 to $28 you will pay for this knife will lead you to expect it to be. You know, and that's the real takeaway with a knife like this is that the way this knife functions and performs is a lot better than what you're paying for. So definitely one that there's a ton of value for. You know, another thing to note about the knife is a lot of times when I've had to modify knives in the past or, you know, been doing some kind of customizing, you put the knife back together and that's not the only time you'll have to do it because there's some kind of small little issue. You know, and you can see that the centering on both of these knives is not 100% perfect, but it's pretty darn close. And I never had to do any kind of tweaking. I mean, these knives just went right back together pretty much perfectly. You know, zero kind of issue or or obstacle in the way there. So, again, just really impressed with that aspect of it. All right, um, going over the modifications that I did, starting with the handle scales, uh, the thing I really liked about these knives and why I picked them in the first place to, to start modifying with was because I knew I'd be able to dye the scales whatever color I wanted because these knives were both originally pink, right? And pink is just a nice light color that you can put whatever color in RIT dye, which is what I used. You know, you can you can make whatever color you want because you're starting with a light base. You know, a couple other colors that they that they make the knives in um, will work as well, but generally pink isn't a popular color for a knife, and I was able to get those knives really cheap and, and work off those. So this is one of the first ones I ever did, ever, ever, and uh, you can see there's a, some real patchiness in the blue here on this side just because I, I didn't really uh, know what I was doing. 
There's a little bit of patchiness that showed up on this one. Of course, the one I did for my dad is a really nice deep purple that came out pretty solid and consistent across the board. And what I'll say about the, the little red patches here is that they show up in perfect light, but when you're in natural light, it sort of looks like a more two-tone thing and it, it, sort of, it, it sort of seems to flow better. So again, I'm really happy with the way that came out. And then the acid etch really lends itself to this design as well because of how nice the mirror satin finish is on them. So it really uh, complements that whenever you do the acid stone wash on it. And you can see on this one it has uh, my initials on this side and my dad's has his initials. So just a pretty cool thing. Now, so overall, just really thrilled with these knives as a whole. Um, you know, I could talk more about just the quality of of the other materials and, and the blade steel and all that and the functioning, but I think you get it by now that I'm just happy with it across the board. So, you know, at the end of the day, just really wanted to take a few minutes and, and talk about that. Also, wanted to give a, a shout out to this knife and to my wife because it's uh, certainly one of the biggest days of my life one year ago today and one that I'm about to uh, leave you guys to go finish celebrating. So uh, thank you very much for your time and for watching. Any questions, comments, complaints, suggestions, as always, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but I appreciate your time, and I will be talking to you soon with a Benchmade comparison review. So that is coming up soon, and so is my giveaway. So stay, uh, stay in touch, and I will keep you posted. Take care.